the pipes parameter. That is this one. And that one is passed by reference. Okay, so it's an array and this variable could be declared before you call the proc open function. And this will be set to an indexed array of file pointers. So I think it's going to look similar to this one in terms of its indexing. They will be file descriptor numbers, like 0, 1, and 2. Okay? And it says of file pointers that correspond to PHP's end of any pipes that are created. So that's the pipes. And up here, so pipes, cor the corresponding parameter in the parameter list to this parameter, descriptor spec, because these are from the perspective of the child process, and this is from the perspective of your script. Or this is from the perspective of the process of your script. These are from the perspective of the child process. I just had some enlightenment, okay? Okay, I'm comparing descriptor spec and pipes. These are two parameters for proc open. Both of them on the top level are regular arrays with indices that are integers, okay? However, the descriptor spec, there are two scenarios for it. One is that each element of that top level array is an array, and the other is that it's not an array, it's a stream resource, okay? Now pipes on the top level is an array like descriptor spec, but its elements, none of them are arrays. As a matter of fact, I think the elements of pipes array are the same or very similar to this one right here, okay? So let's go down here and look at the example. They don't show you how dollar pipes gets assigned. And I'm kind of guessing, and I think I'm right, is that the proc open function has defaults which it assigns to dollar pipes. And remember, dollar pipes is passed by reference. Okay? So the zero index, here it says writable handle connected to child standard in. Now, I am comparing the pipes parameter with the descriptor spec parameter. However, there is a big difference, and it makes all the difference in the world. The descriptor spec is used to let the function know what the specs for the child process should be. Whereas the pipes parameter is not for us to let the function know anything. It's for the function to give us back something. And what it gives us back is handles on the child's standard in and the child's standard out. And it doesn't pass this back, but it is the default s somehow that the file which will contain the errors from the child process. So the pipes, okay, dollar pipes is actually used to pass back to our script handles for those streams, those I.O. streams. They are file pointers. File pointers are resources. So that's what pipes are. And actually, this right here, which is part of the example, should be part of the description of what pipes are. They could have put this information up here, or it's good enough to qualify to be up here, because this is not any random example. This is actually helping define what the pipes parameter is. CWD, the initial working directory for the command. This must be an absolute directory path, or null. Null if you want to use the default value. The working directory, of, and the default value would be the the working directory for the current PHP process, which is your script, or the interpreter instantiation of your script. I don't know what it would be. Yeah, it would be instantiated where the script was executed in that directory. Okay, so that's CWD. ENV, environment. 
is an array with the environment variables for the command that will be run or null to use the same environment as the current PHP process. In other words, okay, first of all, these are shell environment variables. You can set certain environment variables to make them available to the command or the program that you are running with the proc open function. Okay, other options are basically like strings that you can put in that would change the behavior of the proc open function. And the only ones they have available are for Windows. The return value returns a resource representing the process, which should be freed using proc close. Okay, we're going to cover proc close in a future video, probably the next one. When you, okay, so it returns a resource representing the process, which should be freed, which is the child process that, that proc open opened. So it returns a resource representing the process, which should be freed using proc close when you are finished with it finished with the resource. On failure returns false. And here is a very informative example. We basically already covered this. CWD is set to temp and the ENV, it gives an environment variable called sum option and then process. Okay. This runs the command and the command that we are running or the program that proc open is running is actually an instance of the PHP command line interpreter. Okay, now if resource press, oh, if is resource press. In other words, here we're checking because otherwise it would be just the false. Remember we said it can return false. So if it is a resource, then, okay, let's see what, what is press. Okay, yeah, it's the resource, which is actually to be used for closing the child process. Remember, the resource representing the process should be freed using proc close when you are finished with it. Okay. So if this command was successful, then write and the stream or the file pointer you are writing to is the one for the input of the child process. And you're going to write to it the environment variables. Okay. Then you close that stream. And then here you are getting contents from a stream using a function, which I haven't studied yet called stream get contents. Then you close that file pointer or resource or stream, whatever you want to call it. The return value, this is a variable and it will become equal to what proc close returns. And actually it will end up looking like this because this echo command would show something that looks like this. Okay. Oh yeah. It says it is important that you close any pipes before calling proc close in order to avoid the, a deadlock. See, that's what we did here. Closed it, cro uh, closed both pipes. All right. So that's it for proc open.